Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by today. And I know that everybody has been working on their enter lock diligently, but if you have been doing the either my reversible, which you just saw probably yesterday, or the traditional, if you've been doing it horizontally, you have the little zigzags at the top all the way around the edges, and you probably are saying, I wish I could fill those in. I'm gonna show you how to fill in the triangles today. It is so simple. It is so very simple, so don't be afraid at all. This is amazingly fast. Even if you made a huge blanket, it won't take much time at all. So this is my reversible. I've done all of these already, and then I added added a border. But as you can see, these are all just half these are all just half squares, just triangles filling in because it used to look just like this. So I'm going to show you that right now. And also, when you fill in these triangles, it helps with this rolling. It'll make that basically go away. The bigger it is, the less it will roll. So you just pick a place to start in any of these V's, just like you're going to be making another square, like you had a new row. So I'm going to go into this corner right here. Use the same hook that you used to make your product in the first place, and we want to pull up a loop. just like we did before. Make sure you keep a nice long tail there so that you don't accidentally pull your stitches out. And we want to do that again, all the way down. We're pulling up seven loops, just like we did before. Just like you did with all those other squares, so this should be a no-brainer. This will be so simple. Pull up seven loops. And that should be my number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we want to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. But now when we have three left on our hook, instead of our typical two, when we have three, yarn over, pull through everything. And now we have four vertical bars to work. So go underneath one, two, three, and four vertical bars because that other one we just did a reduce. So then we use our next stitch that hasn't been worked and pull up a loop. Now we have six loops on our hook because we did a reduction. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And when you get to three loops on your hook, it's a yarn over and pull through everything. See, I told you this was easy. It's not scary or daunting or anything. It's amazingly simple. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! So now we have three vertical bars to work with. One. Two. And three. And then we have to go over and find one more stitch. I have five loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Three loops on my hook. So we will yarn over and pull through everything. Now we have two vertical bars. One, two, and go and catch our next stitch. Three, so I have four loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through everything. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. Now we have one vertical bar, because all the other ones have been reduced, basically are gone. So we go under that, and the next one. Three loops in our hook, pull through all three. Now we have a triangle! So we want to try that again. Keep going until you have seven loops on your hook. And then we're just going to reduce them down. This is so easy. Seven loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through two until you have three loops left on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. So this first vertic vertical bar is gone now. So now we just work under these four.
and our next stitch. So now we have six loops on our hook because we've reduced one down. Yarn over, pull through two, and through two until you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. And repeat. Every row will get one less stitch. So there's our last vertical bar. Plus we want to jump over and get one through this stitch. Now I have five. Yarn over, pull through two. Until I have three left on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. See, this is just as easy as the squares. There's nothing scary about this at all. Pull through two, I have three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. One vertical bar left all by itself. Three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And then to finish our triangle, go into the next stitch and that I made too tight. Oh, good. And slip stitch. There's our beautiful triangle. I'm going to do one more. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that makes seven loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two until you have three left. I'm going to do this one so I can show you what I did on the edges. Yarn over, pull through all three. What I did on the edge of my blanket over here. That's the way I finished it off. One, two, three, and four, ah, and our other stitch. So we have six loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two until you have three loops left on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And next. One, two, three, plus a stitch over there, yarn over, pull through two. I have three loops left on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And go to our find our next stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, three loops left on my hook, yarn over, pull through everything. One more vertical bar. There's three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through everything, and then go to this next stitch and do a slip stitch. Oh, I made that one tight too. And slip stitch. Hooray! And now when I get to the corner, well, it's not really a corner, I guess this, this would be the corner. I just either do a slip stitch all the way across or a single crochet if you want to keep with the the way that uh, so your stitches show nicely, nicely, however you want your stitches to show. You can do a slip stitch or a single crochet. And then there's this little one right here. I gotta get that one too. And now we're back to an, making another corner. And there's the seven loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two until you have three left and pull through all three. Finish this one quickly so I can show you how my corner turned out. Oops. Pull through two, two, and two. I have three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. For the next stitch over on our square, pull through two, pull through two, three on my hook, pull through all three. Two vertical bars left, plus a stitch over here gives us four. 
yarn over, pull through two, three loops on my hook, one vertical bar left, three loops on my hook right off the bat. So yarn over, pull through all three, and then go to our last stitch right here for a slip stitch. And you can see now we made this into more of a square. See on my corners here, I just did a single crochet or a slip stitch because I was going to add a border anyway. So it has a little bit of a rounded edge, not quite as pointy. It's very rounded and it's very, very delicate and very, very, very pretty. So that's what it would look like. So then you just do that all the way around. Do it in any color you want. Do it in something that completely doesn't match at all or just to make a nice white border all the way around something. So you know, wasn't that simple. So now you can make the horizontal traditional or the horizontal reversible into a big square or a big rectangle instead of having all of these little edges that curl up a little bit. You'll end up flattening it out very nicely with beautiful little triangles. All ready and set up and waiting to go for you to add a border. So, told you it would be easy. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks and stop back soon. My calendar is full. There's some great stuff coming up. Thanks. Bye.